Hey, it's these guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love uh, a salad. Love a salad. Love. I really do. I just, I, lo- I love a salad. No, I love, I love a salad. You know what I love? I love a salad. <laughs> I love a salad. I love a salad. <laughs> what do we need for this salad? Uh, we need some brown rice. Here is my, it's basmati brown rice. I don't know if that makes a difference. Uh, I think that's exactly what I've got. Okay, excellent. Uh, some some ten, tendy stem broccoli. And I made sure to say tendy stem this time. Uh, we need uh, Grenbens. I've got some extra fine beans. Extra fine. <laughs> they are extra fine. Um, tin of mixed beans. I have mixed bean salad in vinaigrette. I have... Taco mixed beans because it was the only mixed beans I could find in a spicy sound... taco sauce. <laughs> well, probably all go with it. I uh, want a fresh red chili. My red chili is not actually that fresh. It's getting a little bit, a bit fridge sticky. crinkly. Got a little stumpy boy there. <laughs> I mean, you have options. Oh. Depends on how spicy you like it. All right. It, with these chilies, does it still happen where the smallest one is the spiciest one? Yeah. Yeah? So this, yeah. this the big one is the least maybe, spicy. Maybe. But there's more of him, so maybe that makes it more spicy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know when it's the same, like, type of chili. Like, if, if it, they're all jalapenos. Yeah. So they're the same. So I should use the small one, probably. Probably. Pro- pro- the, probably the little probably. stumpy boy. Yeah, you stumpy. Wait, a voice. What? Generally true of most chilies. Here is uh, hydrostatic like response. So the smaller it is, the spicier it is always. There we go. So I'm going to ask Robin which one he wants. It's nice and spiky. It looks like you could poke someone with it. All right, well, there we go. Chosen. Any lesson from uh, Robin there? I've got a, uh, I've got a lemon as well. That need, you need that. Uh, do you? Uh, I've got, I've got way more, way more spinach than I need. Uh-huh. Do you have way more spinach than you need? Yeah. Excellent. Uh, I've got some uh, cherry tomatoes. Yeah. Cherry. Cashew pieces. Oh, you've got cashew pieces. Mine are just- uh, yeah, it's fine. Mine are just pieces of them. I've just got this one, which is the best shop bought hummus, in my opinion. I got, oh, like, it's not as exciting a bog standard sort of, also because of the Fleming World thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got some coriander leaves for a handful of fresh coriander. Yes, and so do I. So do I. Oh, excellent. Uh, have you got some sriracha or hot sauce? Well, that's why I was asking about the peri peri sauce. I do have that- other hot sauces, but this one is the most sin friendly. I'm going to be so boring. Oh, I'm so sorry. You got some salt on hand? Mm hmm. <laughs> I don't actually have to go in this stupid cupboard. Uh, it says one garlic clove. Uh, so obviously I've got, I've got two. I got a selection just because I figured it wouldn't be one. I went with two because that was what was left on the, the head of garlic that I had. That is. We need That's some fresh jange. Yeah. Uh, I've just got, I've got two. This is more than enough. I've got, yeah, he's a big old. Yeah, it's more, more than enough. Uh, we need some... Olive oil. Olive oil, yes, it is back here. Because it's this, so this is the dressing, I might go for the fancy olive oil. Oh. 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 Um, uh, we need some sea same oil. Sea same oil. You know, it, we're getting in the sesame oil. I, I really do love sesame oil. Soy sauce. 
There we go. We've got, we've got the lot. First thing it says to do, we're going to wash the rice. Wash the rice. So how much rice did it want? It said it's, it, it went with a mug. But as long as you do the same, use the same mug for your rice as for your water, it's fine because it's about ratios. Uh, in, the, in the meantime, we also want to get our um, Harvey Kettle boiling. Yes. We're only going to need a small amount, so I'm not going to fill up my kettle very much. So the rice is going into... The rice is going in the sieve. In the sieve. And then we're going to wash it for a little bit. Okay. Wait, is that the, like, swirly, swirly wash it out again? Uh, I'm, just, I'm just going to be extra lazy with this one, and I'm just going to put the tap on it. I'm just, just washing... Washing my rice. Uh, dude, I am also doing that over here. Giving it a little swirl. I always think that this rice doesn't have as much starch on it as white rice anyway. Yeah. I'm just going to keep doing it until you've stopped. <laughs> I've, I've stopped because my kettle's boiled. Okay. And then over here on the hob, I'm going to pour in two cups of water. Two cups of water. And then, you know, you know how we do. Turn it on. Oh, you need to, you need a lid for your pan as well. That's okay. I got I got this pan. And I put I put a sprinkle of uh, a little little a pinch of salt in my pan. Cool. Right. Water is in there. So what have you done? What have you done? Is the Just rice put the lid on. No, I'm waiting until it's like hot enough that it's bubbling. We're waiting for it to get bubbling fresh. <laughs> yeah, you didn't think you'd see me again. It's me, Mr. 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 90s R&B guy. <laughs> Mr. UK Mr. garage scene. The Mr. was because I forgot what I was going to say. So I repeat. Mr. Mr. You're weird. Heckling. Being fresh. <laughs> being heckled. Yeah, I am being heckled. In my own flat, of all places. No, you're never safe anywhere, Mr. R&B Fresh Man. It's, it's <laughs> Mr. Fresh. <laughs> you just sound like the voice that comes out of the keyboards at school. DJ. 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 Dictionary. Diction dick, 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 dictionary. It's really bubbly, really bubbly. That's cool. So, is it bubbling, bubbling fresh? Yes, it is bubbling, bubbling fresh. Uh, let me just get mine to, yeah, mine's about to go. Uh, and we're going to pop in our rice. How high heat have you got yours on? Mine is really bubbling. Yeah, it's hot. It's boiling. I might, yeah, and no, I'm just going to keep it so it's real hot. Uh, and then we're just going to put in our two cups of uh, our cup of washed rice. Bam! There we go, and that's going to go for twenty minutes. Right. Uh, what we're going to do now? Uh -huh. uh, bit of the old, bit of the old beheading and bubumming. How many green beans do we need? Because I definitely have more than I need here. Uh, it says 500 grams, uh, no, 50 grams. If you hold them in your fingers, it's about the size of a, uh, of a two pound coin. Yeah, I can see that. Well, I just measured them out. Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, it just means that Marissa and I are going to have some kind of thing with green beans and tender stem. Yes. Uh, and I'm just sticking them in a bowl that's going to go off to the side in a minute because we'll deal with them later. Okay, are they going in a big bowl that other stuff is going to join them in? Oh. We're going to be um, we're going to be steaming them later. So actually, I'm going to stick mine in my colander. I put mine in my are colander. You, are they the only thing being steamed? Uh, we're going to steam our, our broccoli as well. I'm also okay. bubumming bubumming my um, my tender stems. And how much tender stem are we supposed to have? Uh, we're supposed to have 100 grams. 100 grammies. 
Will that put the me on that balance? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, my rice sounds like it's so angry. Is it does yours sound angry? Uh, I don't know because I've got noise cancelling headphones on. I never know whether my things sound angry or not. It's really bubbling, bubbling crazy. Bubbling fresh. So over over on the other side here, I've got a um a colander full of beans and brock. Oh, yeah. It says top and tail the green green beans, but I think what it means is behead and the bum. Yeah, I don't think they know what they're talking about. The head no. and the bum. Uh, we're going to do our garlic now. Brush a bit with the knife. Take off its head. They both got tails. Ooh! Chop them off. Chop them off. Sh- They're evil. Eating, are you dicing? Are you dicing your garlic? Small. Uh, I'm doing. I'm doing it into very, very thin little bits. Yeah, little tiny thin slices, and then I'm going to go through and try and make it even thinner. Okay. Hey, Bindi, have I ever shown you this technique before? No. Show where me you it. go, but once you've got the, once you've got it like a bit choppy uppy, you kind of like pivot. keep one almost one finger on it, and you just pivot, yeah. and so it's rocking up and down. I've definitely seen that that happening on things like MasterChef. Got a. Uh, um, what is this called? <laughs> Ajanj. Ajanj. How much do we need? Uh, it says two centimeters, which actually might be. By the time that I've tr- trimmed mine up, do you see? Do you see how big mine is? Yeah. A thumb for thumb for. Yeah. What I would do is I'm just going to I'm just going to trim down. Just the uh, get the get the skin off it. You can do it by just scraping it with a um. With a spoon, which I think is it's more efficient to scrape it with a spoon. But I'm just being lazy and I don't want to get a spoon out. Fair enough. Yeah. And so I'm just going to chop it all off because then I reckon it will also I think I had a little bit too much ginger. And by the time that I finished kind of butchering it, I'll have just enough ginger. Uh-huh. And again with the Jeanj, uh-huh. once we've got it, I'm just going for like as thin slices as possible and then I'm going to do it into matchsticks and then I'm going to do it into like little dicey bits hmm mine my rice has suddenly been become without water yeah so is mine it's I'm going to put <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit more water in mine okay me too just boiling water or I'm just pouring what was left in the kettle and then I'm going to use a spoon to kind of swizzle it around because it's still technically got another five minutes so Are you and so i've got ginger in with your um... yes my zhanj is going in with my jal dicing it up into tiny little pieces yeah so it is tiny and delicious i just realized i still have my glasses on my head i just get used to having them on there but there really is no purpose they are serving that's what women like to do is have their sunglasses on their head. Yeah, the thing is, I know that now I've taken them off, I'll get phantom glasses going to, to touch them and then they're not there. Oh, phantom of the glasses is here inside my bum. Uh, so you've done, in your little bowl, you've got... Uh, some jeans and some gal. Yeah. Now we're going to put a, a teaspoon of sea seam oil. Okay. Teaspoon. That's the small one. <laughs> I always have to say it to myself. Make sure that I do it. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take your um your colander full of your stuff, and you're going to do this with it. You're going to take your lid off, put your colander in, and then I'm just going to put my lid back on top of it. See, I thought this is where that was going, so I've actually used the thing that's supposed to, that goes on top. Smart. So we're going to do that for like five minutes or something. Okay. Uh, then you're doing a tablespoon of soy sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oil. Uh, and, a t- and a tablespoon of the olive oil. 
Mm. <laughs> this is more <laughs> more ginger than it is sauce. <laughs> I'm fine with it. It's really tasty. Cool. It smells nice. Oh, sesame oil. Wants to put about half of the dressing over these greens now. Oh, half of it. Yeah, about half of it, just over the greens in the uh, in the basket. Mama Mookie. Mama Mookie. Sweet, sweet Mama Mookie. Now we're going to open our beans. Beans, reveal the beans. Reveal I'm your I'm beans. <laughs> Look how fast I am. I'm going to beat you. <laughs> Done. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Were, were we racing? I didn't know. <laughs> I'm going to drain my beans in vinaigrette. I have beans. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, apparently, they're just good to go. Excellent. I mean, yeah, they are. Mm, yeah. Billy, you cut him in half. Have you beheaded and be bumped him? You have. <laughs> Just beheaded, actually. Yeah, you don't really need to be bummed. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to take out his little little spicy insides. Yeah, I think that's entirely wise. Uh, that's, we can now take our, just take your, take your, um, greens and stuff off of the the thing just check that they're done oh, how can i pick that will they be soft will they be delicious mm. mine are soft and or delicious and then i'm going to do little little chili half moons how small are your chili half moons okay. what i've done here is i've just taken my um my veggies in the colander off the top yep. and my rice is looking pretty good I've given it a mix I might actually give mine a further pinch of salt just because it feels a little bit like blandy and actually where we're at we can start to like plate up quite a lot of it it's a bit more like this one's a bit more in the plating than our normal dishes yeah. going with the uh, the old rice I'm going for, I think that you would do best in those like tomato bowl, the, 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 the big wide salad yeah, that's bowls. That's what I was saying I had in my mind for this dish. It seems like, the, I mean, it's called a bowl. You can't put it on a plate. Well, I've got a plate with a lip on it. Mm, definitely feels like too much rice, this. Ricey, nicely. Lay these out. Some grand bends, maybe on the other side. Don't know. Mix it up. Make sure to get all the nice bits of um, jonge and garlic. Garlic. Need some of these beans. Green beans, green beans on that side. Yes, very nice. Pop the beans in the middle. Delicious bean mix. Right. Okay, let's put some of these lovely bits of red chilli all over the shop. Oh, some this red chilli. looks marvellous. It looks so healthy. Mm, it does look really healthy. I feel like I'm going to need some chips afterwards just to, you know, yeah. really undo the good that I'm doing. Yeah. How many How many cherry tomatoes did it say? Twelve. Well, actually, I'm only going to put... I've just thought about this. I've been a smart person. I'm a smart cookie. I'm going to just do six because Marissa's not going to eat any cherry tomatoes. Um, she doesn't like tomatoes. So that works. Like oh, no. I, to be fair, I, I used to not like tomatoes, like on their own. In, inside things, it's fine. But I really like them now. I, I want to show you mine. I think they're actually quite pretty. That looks great. <laughs> There's quite a lot of rice. My God. All right, I'm putting them over here in the light to be displayed while I do stuff in here. Uh, you've got some more things to do. We're going to go is, with... Uh, are the tomatoes going to be going on as, uh, as they are? Are you chopping? Yeah, them? I just, I just, I just chopped mine in half. For yeah, you that's, know, that's what I would go with. I actually think yeah. I like. Um, are they baby plum tomatoes? I don't know plum tomatoes. I think are my favourite. I mean, I could have just got them to be fair. <laughs> I yeah, they're they're good. I like 
I like the really small ones that have got lots of flavour. Yeah. Um, also, recently, like get getting a really, really big beef tomato, the ones that are like the size of a baby's head. The ones that are in the hamburgers. Yes, exactly. For for burgers. Yes. Because you don't want slice done. You don't want shingled tomato in your hamburger. No, no. So want one entire. Have ham. you literally put these tomatoes on already? Just like this. Bam. Oh, you've done a sprinkling of tomatoes. Oh uh, yeah, I've smattered them around the outside. I'm what cocktail? Them. What's an underrated spirit that you could put in a cocktail? Oh, that, is that the smoke, the smokehead whiskey? Is that the um, the the one that you got, Robin? Because that stuff was delicious, but also I could taste it for like the next three days. Ooh, intensely rich yet subtly sweet. Smokehead embodies a wild spirit and appeals to those with an appreciation for heavy, earthy peat. That sounds. I don't know. I don't know. It, it sounds like they read my about Who me. Who is Earthy Pete? That's what I want to say. <laughs> I'm really into Earthy Pete. With immense smoke and notes of sea salt and spice, this is a vigorous whiskey that stands out from the crowd. Vigorous whiskey. This is a vigorous whiskey. <laughs> God, I'm so vigorous. I'm taking a picture of this. I haven't even finished. And I'm so happy with the way that these look. I've got to take a picture of them. Oh, hmm. Mm, mama Mookie. Mm, mama mm, mama. How much? How much spinach? It says fifty grams, but this feels like quite a lot of spinach. I'm just going to put on like a handful, I reckon. So it's just going on as is. Yep, just as is. Yeah. <laughs> you know how this this dish be all about like raw, delicious uh, goodness and flavour. Yeah. I'm just putting enough on that it looks good. I'm not thinking about eating it. I'm thinking of it as a piece of art. That's, sometimes you've got to think about it that way. That's the difference between being a um, a pro chef and an amateur, you know. You do half the eating with your eyes and your nose. <laughs> your it's, really difficult to, it's really difficult to eat with your nose, actually. It's not that hard if you, if you truly believe you can do it. I'm going, with, I'm going to Cashew Town. Here, look, we've got... All cashews are split in half. Should, I probably should chop mine, shouldn't I? No, no, you can, mine, mine are the incorrect ones. Look at that. Oh, okay. Cashews. All cashews as they are. Yep, as they are. And you sprinkled, you, you sprinkled your, your, your nuts. I sprinkled my nuts, but in a, in a very specific area. And oh. right now, I'm just picking some, uh, I'm picking some coriander leaves because I think coriander is delicious. Yeah, the trouser area is the best area, Robin. I can't remember what I said that that was related to, but... He's talking about where you put your nuts. Oh, yeah, yeah, you do. You put your nuts in the trouser area. Yep. With you now. That is the best place to put your nuts. You, okay, so how much coriander? How much? A handful. Yeah. It's a garnish, I, right? It's, it's a garnish. It's a garnish. You're cutting the stalks off. Yes, you have. Yes, I've, I've just plinked off the stalks. That's the technical term, plinked. Oh my gosh, this looks like so much food. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but it's really good food, so. It'll be the kind that's filling, but also later on I can have some toast. <laughs> yes. This, I'm, I, you know, I'm genuinely really enjoying just the decorative aspect of this. Mm. <laughs> but it's mostly just placing things and the cooking is, you know, minimal. These are ridiculous. Huh? I placed every single one of my nuts individually. This is, <laughs> this, this is where I know that it's gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> individually placed nuts. Yes. Hmm. What else do we need? Oh, goodness. Goodness chili. me. We've got, we've got lemon, we've got chili, yeah. and we've got um, the hummus left. Yes. So have you, you've, how how dicey have you made your um, coriander? Just I didn't dice it. No dicey, just just. I didn't eat. No, mine are just lit mine are literal little coriander leaves. Look, sprinkled it. Maybe it's more obvious on here. 
No, I can see it. I just don't know how I feel about it. You can dice it if you want. I just, I went with, I went with. A tiny, but just a bit of a. Sure. Yeah. I went with, I'm going with like the au natural vibe, you know? Yeah. Like I'm not even. I'm not even hurting. It, I mean, it is. This recipe is coming from Bosch, the vegan cookbook. So, you know, it's very much against uh, against hurting any kind of animals or plants. Or coriander, specifically. Yeah. Lemon. Do the lemon. And how do we do the lemon? So, heel of your palm on the lemon. Rolling. Pressure and roll. Rolling, let the juices flow. Rolling. You're trying to damage all of those cells so all of their little juices come out and squirt everywhere. Yeah. Just a half slice, and I'll show you, I'll bring, I'll bring one over. So, the way I always like to do it is just to, I just do it, squeeze the lemon into my hand Rolling and open up, open up the fingers, and then lemon juice everywhere so you can catch. The, uh, you can catch any wayward pips. Yeah. Wait a minute. So is it, are we using half a lemon for each plate? Yes. Half a lemon for each plate, yeah. Ah! I have a cut on my finger. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> so fresh, so delicious. Oh, wait a sec. What we've also got, a little bit more of that, um, the oh, yeah. sauce we made earlier. So where are your chilies? Have you put them on already? Yeah, I've sprinkled them over somewhere. Going on. Oh, everything's everything's very tall up, up the top. So if you just dollops on a bit of hummus, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna just I'm gonna that's a little spot for some hum. Maybe just move this little bit here. Ooh. Oh, please! Please. Oh, look at that. There we go. It's all it's almost a quinell of hummus. Oh, beautiful! I want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I do that thing where they that they do on Master Chef where they rub their the back of their hand. <laughs> Mm, here we go. Uh, there we go. Ah, what a lovely quinelle of um. It's definitely not quinelling in any way. It's just um, it's more of a dollop, I would say. I mean, I think that it actually the words in the recipe are put a big dollop of hummus on it. So, uh, and then to finish. Mm -hmm. Oh, the hot sauce. I'm just gonna like just My a little bit of this. What I'm gonna do is. Maybe maybe put that to the side so that people can uh, well Robin can choose his own level. But yeah, there we go. That's 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 a um. Beautiful. There we go. There's there you go. We've seen we've seen it all now. I guess that's I guess that's the stream for today. That's uh, that's it made. It's the least cookingest of our cooking streams that we've done. Oh, I'm excited to eat it though. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, this looks this looks exactly what I need on a day which is incredibly hot. Yes. Oh now you can sit here I am in the office, the fan's on. Uh <laughs> you might get the odd bit of wind sound. Yeah, thanks, thanks team. Thanks everyone for watching. I uh, hope we had a great time. We know we did. Uh, if you like what we do, like and subscribe. Uh, subscribe on Twitch. Um, smash notification bells. Um, we don't have a Patreon. Just I just thought I'd say we don't have a Patreon. So you know. <laughs> don't try and find us there. <laughs> don't don't find us on Patreon. <laughs> And tune in next week for uh, Monday Meals with McGraw and Bindi. Yeah, this is the, oh no, it's, you know, it is this way, it is this way. Do I need to go this way? Yeah, I need to be like, uh huh. <laughs> hey. hey! Hey, oh no, you need to go the other way, other way. Sorry, I, I'm just looking at the stream and the things. So yeah. Yeah, hey! Yeah! <laughs> 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 just to go. <laughs> hey! Um,